The Freedom Falcons just happen to be playing after a tough quarterfinal loss in NCS. Freedom traveling to San Jose to meet the Bellarmine Bells. The Falcons with lots of energy early. This is their outstanding guard, Nick Evans, setting the pace early on. And now Evans on the run again, this time passing back to Dondre Gray for two. But the Bells keeping it close. Noah Clark had a fine game for the Bells. He hits the 15-footer there. But Freedom 6'8 senior is a load. Kendall McIntosh hasn't decided where he's going next year, but somebody's going to be very lucky to get a very skilled big man. Kyle Owens now firing from deep for the Bellarmine Bells. The Owens three-pointer cuts the Freedom lead to just one point midway through the second. And the Bells tie the game at 17 all here on a strong drive and basket by Masa Swain. The Bells take a two-point lead here as Kyle Owens drives past a defender then rises up for a nice-looking jumper, 21-19 Bells. But the Bells had trouble stopping McIntosh who drives into the lane, misses his first try, but McIntosh grabs the rebound and muscles at home. Then McIntosh grabs the pass, then up and under into the lane, avoiding the defender. He is really good. Third quarter in a tight game, and Angelo Athens is doing his thing, pulling up and hitting a long two. And we're tied at 27 all, but not for long as McIntosh gets the pass and rips it home, and that was huge. Now in transition, John Ketchell up to Jared Stokes, who lays it in as Freedom takes a 46-42 lead. Nice play by the Bells here is Josh Bringell with a nice pass to a cutting Michael Bacon. Everyone loves Bacon. But Freedom pulls away from there. It's McIntosh again, this time driving and firing, and the foul. He was pretty happy as Freedom advances with 17 points each from McIntosh and Evans. And here they are for a thrilling victory in the NorCal first round game, the Freedom Falcons. Congratulations, yeah. guys. Yeah. Right here with me, Kendall McIntosh. Kendall with a big game for the Falcons tonight. Kendall, what was it like playing against this team, a West Catholic League team? You knew there was going to be big defense, and there was against you tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. I faced you know, triple teams all night, but I stuck away and you know, stuck away to fight through it. Now, you guys lost in the NCS on a very close game. Um, tell me about that and how disappointing that was for you. Oh, it hurt us, man. It hurt us. You know, we could have took that game, but we lost at home. But it's all right, you know. We got lucky and got a chance to get back in the run for state. You know, we're looking to make big things happen. Let's talk about that, John Keschel. Did you guys think that you were done after that Berkeley game? Yeah, uh, I thought our season was over. We were all devastated. We got the call a few days ago that we were back in it, and we were just, I don't know, like rebirthed, and we were ready to come out to play. <laughs> got a win, so just on the road to state. Glad to be here. Very exciting. Now, what does this win in a NorCal game mean to you guys? It means a lot to us because nobody predicted us to be here right now, and we came a long way from the beginning of the season. Nobody predicted us to go this far, and we came a long way. And Devin, what did it mean to you to play with this group of guys one more game? Man, it's just everything. Like, we have great team chemistry. Everybody is just with each other. We're a family. We're just a big family. That's all it is. You guys have had a great season. The Freedom Falcons, congratulations, oh, guys. Yeah. Good win tonight. Yeah.